Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Please like and subscribe and ring the notification bell so you would be notified the next time I upload. Well, I came across this video and there's more evidence out there. There's more people talking and apparently Brian Laundrie's family visited that park and because of Dog Bounty Hunter, all this new evidence has come forward. So here, let's take a look at this. We are learning more about a trip Brian Laundrie's parents took recently to Fort DeSoto Park in Pinellas County. According to police, they visited the campground after Brian returned to Florida and before Gabby's body was found. Justin Shecker continues our team coverage now. Justin, the timing of this trip raising some questions. Surely is, Keith. Good evening to you. A public records request through Pinellas County shows Brian's mother, Roberta, made a camping reservation at Fort DeSoto Park from September 6th through the 8th. Today, their attorney confirmed to me the laundry family was there. Tonight, there are new... See, now, why wouldn't the attorney say that in the first place? That's what I'm not understanding. Why are they withholding information? Why are the laundries lying? Why are they not saying where Brian is? They have to... There's no way they don't know. They are definitely aiding and abetting, and they can get charged for that. This is now a federal case. Questions about the Laundry family's visit to the waterfront campground at Fort DeSoto Park. 11 days after Roberta Laundry's reservation that began on Labor Day Monday, the parents reported their son missing to Northport Police. To this day, they've made no public plea asking for help to find their son. In New York, wow. the Petito and Schmidt family attorney addressed the ongoing efforts to locate the person of interest in Gabby's death. The Laundries did not help us find Gabby. They're sure as not going to help us find Brian. The FBI issued an arrest warrant for Brian Laundrie last week. He's only been charged in a federal indictment for unlawfully using a debit card and accessing money from two bank accounts after Gabby's homicide. We welcome everybody's help to find him. And, and if you have any information, we're asking that you call the FBI tip line or your local police department. So we'll take help from everybody. Laundry family attorney Stephen Bertolino tells Eight on Your Side, the family camped from 9-6 to 9-7 and they all left the park. Later that week on Saturday, September 11th, the investigation into Gabby's disappearance began when her concerned mother, Nicole Schmidt, spoke with a detective on Long Island. And I especially want to thank Detective Tracy Barry of the 5th Precinct here in Patchogue. Because without her, um, we don't know when this would have even happened. She got the ball rolling. She, she's my angel. Today I spoke with a man from outside Orlando who had a camping reservation next to the laundry campsite on Labor Day. He says he didn't see Brian Laundry or his parents, but on his way out he told me uh, he believes he saw their maroon truck with the camper attached to the back. Now we should mention that Brian Laundry's parents have not been charged with any crime in connection to the Gabby Petito case. Live tonight outside Fort DeSoto Park, I'm Justin Shecker, 8 on your side. <laughs> I know I do believe that the parents are going to be charged with aiding and abetting like they have to know where he is and with all this stuff coming out right now and all the lies that have been told and all the withholding of information something's got to give this guy's out there and honestly I do believe that between John Walsh and Dog Bounty Hunter Brian Laundry will be found.